Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. Good morning. This is Lynn, I'm Rob. And we are Rob and Lynn on tour. That sounds <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, uh, where are we? Telford. Telford, yeah, what's the name of the site? Seven Gorge Park. Seven Gorge Park, it's a residential park with a few places for motorhomes and caravans. Yeah, I think there's eight, eight touring pitches. Yeah. Great, great facilities. Fantastic Indian takeaway that delivers yes. to the touring park. Yeah, if you come here, you must try the Indian takeaway. It is bang on. Yeah, I will put the link in the description below. Uh, but today, we're being as it's 2023, we're going to go and have a look, see if we can find any new motorhomes, campers, panel vans, and whatever, yeah, caravans. It's, it's time for a change, people. No, it's not. I might get caught up in the moment. We have seen one we like. Yeah, we have. <laughs> But you know, who knows? Yeah, we'll so uh, I'll just uh, flip the camera around this uh, little park up, little site. It's not a park up. We're not back in France, you know, or Spain. I wish I was. I know that. Yeah. So it holds about how many is it hold? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's where we're parked there, 11. 16 amp electric. Yes. And like I, uh, well, I, I uh, bloody hell, I can't get the words out. I took the opportunity to wash it down. Yeah, they saw that on the last one. So she's spotless. My little baby's spotless. And I am. I've had a shower. <laughs> yeah, first time this month. Oh, I've got to say, um, the I can't remember his name. Sorry, I do apologise. But he sent us the thing that you push on for the button. Yes. In the shower. Yes. And Robert went in the showers first this morning, came back, she said, oh, God, they only last two seconds. So I took the, the thing with me, and it is brilliant. Yes. It's like a little plastic thing, and it's got a lace on to put around the pipe to hold the button in. Brilliant. Absolutely. Kept it on yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time I was in the shower. Absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Absolutely spotless. Some friends of our, ours are parked there in their beautiful buccaneer and his beautiful truck. I'll show you his truck actually. Uh, what is it? It's a Ford Ranger MSRT. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And uh, he's bought that uh, police caravan obviously and he says he pulls it no problem whatsoever. But on, on, on another note, I must say I prefer this one. That's what you need in a motor home. More power, you can't whack it. Come on then, let's go. I think you need a lift to get in there. I know, I do struggle. <laughs> Yours on the road, Rob. Okay. Don't you jump in our red lights? No, it's not. Somebody picked it up, you know, when we were in Europe. Loads of people picked it up. That's the I drive. I accidentally went through a red light. Yeah, that's the drive in. Very busy road because th that's the only thing. There's nowhere to take the dog, so I've been walking up and down here. There is actually. But because if you walk down here and turn right, you can go into the woods. Oh, right, I didn't know that. Well, I'm yeah. not going to do that am I on my, when I'm on my own. Yeah, so if you come down here, people, and turn right, just up there. Oh, you can get up there. Just up there, look. Yeah. And you can go into the woods. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm not going to do that on my own, am I? Let's go in the woods today. The Shut woods up, today. Robert. So yeah, we're going to go and have a look, see what motorhomes, caravans, and camper vans we can find. Yeah, and if you get just going back to this uh, site, if you go to the end of this road here and turn left, there's a pole just up the road. Yeah. Perfect. Is. Yeah. Right. Okay. See you in a bit. Well, I've spoiled her again, people. We've no. just stopped for fish and chips, and I've been waiting for this for over a month. Six weeks. Six weeks. Look. That's a big fish and chips. I've just had a fish, because I'm good. I'm not nicking any chips. Oh my, it is so nice to eat British fish and chips. It really is. Happy about that, people? Happy. New Voyager there being unloaded. And here we are at Cellar Pleasure, where we actually bought our motorhome from, for any of you that don't know. Yeah, we've actually got a couple of uh, booked in to have some uh, warranty work done. When's it booked in for? Oh, 24th, something like that of Feb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're actually having the worktop change, the runners on the side locker. side locker, 
and the waist sensor I don't see any point changing the waist sensor because of any of you that know what it's like it will it'll be no good within a couple of weeks again but hey ho they're yeah. doing it and the place is rammed so yes let's find somewhere to park with there is loads of sure. places over there yeah but <sighs> so yeah we're going to have a look what's Hang new on, can't see me hello people what's, how you doing what's new for 2023 if they've got anything well they have they've got one that we like you're looking really pretty today shut up Robert roots need doing as you pointed out in the last vlog. I can look around motor homes all day, people. Yeah. And to be honest, if ever you do come here to Salad Pleasure, they've got a cracking uh, love to stay site. Yeah, especially for adja children. Adjacent to it. Which, if you buy one from here, I think you get one free night. Yes. Which we did. Which yes, we, we've actually stopped there, and to be honest, what a site. It's brilliant. It is. But it's very, very very expensive hang on vehicle reversing vehicle reversing it is very expensive i think if i remember rightly and they've also got a really good calf yeah but that should and cakes <coughs> shut up robert so yeah there we are sell a pleasure let's get in there just before we go and have a look at the beautiful motorhomes and vans let's go and have a look at this shepherd's hut it looks awesome it does yeah Four to six thousand nine hundred and ninety-five pounds. Let's have a look. How cute is this? Oh man, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that a Belfast sink. That's beautiful, isn't it? What's in that door there? I presume it's the bathroom. Let's have a look. Before anybody comes in. Because Lynn gets a bit embarrassed. Don't you? If there's anybody about, you're going to be embarrassed, Always. don't you? <laughs> it's been look great! Yes. The size of the shower. Man, that is so nice. And, it's cheaper than most motorhomes. Yeah, but you can't take this with you. I'll put an engine on the front. There's no freezer. That's strange. We've got a fridge. You've got a fridge. That's a fridge there, yeah. Yeah. And no freezer, because you've got the boiler here. Proper wood. Very, 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 very nice. Very nice. Love it. And the bed, storage underneath the bed. Man, this is absolutely awesome, isn't it? Yes. Stable doors. Yes, happy Lovely. about that. Happy. Lovely. I would just say prices from twenty-four thousand nine hundred ninety-five pounds, and then it goes up to forty-six thousand nine hundred ninety-five. Base cam. It's a bigger one though. So this one's got the bolt beds. Oh, um, there's music playing. I just realised. Mm. Nice one there. I don't know what's happened to the fridge door there, it's coming off. No price. No price? No price. It is a nice one. That's the problem with filming inside. Yes. Music. It's bloody copyrighted, don't we? Lovely van. And if you're into caravans, there are hundreds here. Yep, they seem to be mainly Swift and Coachman. And as you all know, I do love a Swift and a Coachman. Yeah. I love caravans. Yes, we know you love caravans. Coachman VIP, 675, 39,295 pounds. Twin wheelbase. And she's shutting the door. No, she's not. Hang on, I'm coming in. Bloody off dark in here, aren't you? Yes, because there's another van park right up the side of it. Yeah. Nice van though, isn't they it? They are. They're not as nice as the... Oh, laser. the laser. It's the laser at the top of the range. Good. I mean, they've got a good bench seat here, but the one over there, well, it's it, it, his and hers, isn't it, for us? <laughs> no, that's the same bloody size. Oh. The same well, size. They, are. they just... Oh, that hasn't got the armrest on. No, it's the same size. Yeah, it, it just yeah. looks smaller. 
Massive skylight there. So on there. Loads of cupboard room, space. Love, love the curtains. Yes. Beautiful van. Yes, lovely bed. It's the bathrooms that, that make these vans, I think. It's the bathrooms are a good size, good size shower. Yes. The, the bed actually is in sleeping mode, and I can't move it. But yeah, it's in sleep mode. That. Yeah. Beautiful van, but we're not here to look at caravans. We are, we're looking at both. I'm not buying a caravan. Been there, done that. Not knocking caravans at all because they're beautiful, as you can see. The Laser XL 845, 46,745 pounds. Twin wheelbase. Lovely vans. So look at the back, by the way, while I'm here. Love those as well, the base camps. Yes. Very nice van. Well, they're all nice, aren't they? All new vans. Anything new is nice. Yes, lovely seating area. Massive skylight again. You can see the difference in the quality from the Acadia to the Laser. The Laser is like a higher spec. But I don't like this van. You don't like it? I'll show you Hang why. on, hang on. This Shocker! Is, this is just my opinion, but I'll show you. Shower's gorgeous. Separate toilet, great. Now look at the bed. That is in day mode. That has got to come out and it comes out to here. Oh yeah, you're going to have to struggle to get You are that, really, you? really going to struggle. I think Yes, but I, I also think it's a good idea having that out the way and it gives you a load of, loads in more space. In the daytime. Space. In yes. the daytime. In the That's day. what I think. But I don't... Uh oh, uh oh. No, that's fine. That's at night mode. Yeah. And it just gives you no room. Yeah, but it's still doable. Just. Walk, walk down there. Walk. I can. There you go. But if you're a bit bigger, I mean, I'm tiny, so... Well, I don't know about that. You're not very I tall, you're no, not very I, tall, you I prefer the transverse on the 855. Yeah. Just my opinion. I just think it's... Uh, yeah, well, I'm not exactly small, and I can get round it, no problem. Hang on. Yeah, but this has got go, this has got no bedding on. Once you've got a quilt, and the quilt's always overhangs, and so you tuck them in or overhang, you're going to struggle to get past here. Just my opinion. Beautiful. I love mm. the Coachman laser bands. Yeah. I do like Good the side separate, shower. Yeah, I do like the separate shower and toilets. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, separate toilet and shower, like Lynn said. Perfect. Very nice. Well, we'll get out of here because my little angel here is not very impressed. No, we'll go and have a look at the 855, which has got the transverse bed. Come on, let's crack on. And this is 2023 Coachman Laser XL855, £47,000, £735. Let's have a look in this one. Good deal, they don't have parking close. So this is the 855. I thought this was the, like, the one I'd like, but... Coachman seemed to have changed everything before Coachman had an end bathroom. Now they've changed it to again the same as the other one. So you've got a separate toilet and shower. You've got the transfer bed. But again, once you've got all your bedding on, I just think it's a bit of a squeeze. Before you had the bit, it was more open plan, wasn't it? And you had the end bathroom. Yes, I don't know what they've done different, but they seem to have crammed it all in a bit, don't they? Yeah. I mean, it is nice if you want a separate bedroom and you want people stopping in the lounge area that trying to, I presume, well, it does go into a bed. So you shut that door and people can still access the bed, the bathroom and the shower. But just my opinion, I prefer the end bathroom. It's nice. Have you finished renting on there? Nice place to put your TV. Yeah, nice place to put TV there. But Julia, again, if you've got your TV, you're going to have to be so careful walking past. <sighs> yeah, but uh, hang on a bit now. 
At the end of the day, you've just got to sleep in the bloody place. No, you haven't. They're You're not going to spend all day in here, no, are you? they're second homes. They're not just for sleeping. Pretty bedroom is. No. Unbelievable. I like it anyway. Yeah, I love the worktops. Full-size cooker. Loads of drawer space. Cupboard space. That is not a full-size cooker. It's tiny. Same size as ours. It's not a full-size, is it? It's going to be one of them days again, people. One of them days. Good seating area. TV there. Yeah, I like it. Nice fan. Yeah, and... As I was saying outside, they're all nice fans, aren't they, when they're new? They are. Yeah. Happy with that, people? Happy. Got a nice amount of work top Yeah, that's space. a good idea, but it's a bit strange for people walking inside. Yeah. They do that on a lot of the motorhomes, don't they, now and there? Yeah. Just drop that back there. Right, let's crack on somewhere else then. Come on, let's get another one. I'm just having a look. Oh, not the glove. So yeah, that pulls out to there to make a huge bed. This is a huge bed as well. Yeah, yeah happy with that. Right, let's go and find some motorhomes and panel vans. Happy with that. Happy with that, people, happy. Right, we'll have a look at this, uh, this panel van. It's a 2023 Swift Select 184. Uh, three and a half ton. Four berth, sixty-seven thousand two hundred and ninety pounds. Yeah, four berth, four seat belts, brand new. Yeah. Nice van. Now a lot of people I've spoke to don't like this colour, but I think it, it looks great on a model. I like it. Do you like the colour? I do. Yeah, smart looking tool. Let's go and have a look at that. Hi. Yeah, nice cab. Lovely seats. Got a table there, travel seats there, cupboard space, kitchen area. We're not too sure what this is, we think it's a bed of some kind of description. No, it's because that lifts up. Yeah, I think you lift it out, you lift that out and use it as a bed. What? Yeah, maybe the bed because the table will drop. Yes. So it must and be cushions you, yeah. or, I don't know. I but don't know either to be honest. Whoever's been in here hasn't packed it away, right? Because that was how it was when we yeah. came. Uh, skylight there. Skylight there. Yeah, a lot of seats. Let me get out of your way. So you yes, please do. What's in here? Wet room. Toilet, sink. And a mirror there. Sink there, cooker, two bench seats there, which will seat four people, I'd say. Got the back doors there, cupboard space, window, other window there, and you've also got storage under there. Now, we, we differ on these vans, motorhomes and panel vans, because I love panel vans, absolutely love them. I do, but this this isn't one of my favourites. I just think I don't know. I just like them all. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now we're going to have a look at the brand new 2023 uh, Escape Swift Escape. The six the, nine four. Yeah, these vans have come on leaps and bounds since yep. they first bought we, the Escape range out. We nearly bought one, didn't we, many years ago? Yeah. yeah. Um, but they have really come on, you know, they've changed the graphics too and they've changed a lot on them. We, they're quite they really are, nice, brilliant vans. Let's have a look. It's the outside of it. Let's have a look around the back. I think the graphics make, make a hell of a difference. Big garage door. Yeah, nice van. First impressions of this van when you walk through the door is wow, the space, the height, it makes its look and feel so spacious. And it's even got the uh, auto box on it. Sat nav, storage, massive cupboards. Yeah, they've got really big lockers. Yeah. 
a do, and one thing you'll be up to be right to do. There you go, that's tidy. Then I've got rid of the curtains, which you'll be happy about, because you don't like curtains in vans. Yeah. Lockers both sides. Really nice, spacious, it really airy is. van. It really is. How much is it? There's no price on it. Yeah. Uh, massive sink, your cooker there, microwave, more cupboards. There's your fridge there, which is the same as ours basically. Storage under there. Bedroom, you've got to climb into bed a bit, but that doesn't really matter to be honest because you've got like a step there to help you get in. Massive lockers, wardrobe each side. The skylight there. Massive windows. It's a bit dark in here. There's me again. Uh, sink, toilet. Run that a bit. Cupboard there. Towel. And then opposite, you have your shower with one of these flimsy doors on it. Yeah, it's not a bad size shower. And you've got a little shelf there to put your toiletries on and whatever. Impressions, my little angel? I really like it. This is what I miss in ours. I mean, we've, we have put our little table in, but it was so nice to sit down and have a table like this. Yeah, but that doesn't look very uh, sturdy to me. No, that's not me. No. I think you have a... It's a bit, it's a bit creaky. Mm. No, I, that's, I, that's what I miss mm. with ours. I do like this. Not too keen on the white cupboards. Because they do, they do mark easily. You and there's marks all over them, to be honest. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, you just need, the, they need polishing. It's just people touching them yeah. all the time. You've got your control centre up there. Microwaves at a better height. <sighs> Microwave, yeah. Microwaves is the normal height. It's a better height for me. Very nice one. Yes, very, very, very nice one. Yeah, and then next to you, you've got the 69 plate tag axle. 98,995 Yeah, and that has got a massive sunroof uh, It's the Swift Contiki 650 What? It's the Swift Contiki 650 Yeah And it weighs 5 ton Yeah, they all weigh 5 tons of tags So look, yeah, same graphics as ours, exactly well, it's only six months younger than ours. Little garage space. Let's have a look behind it, if I can squeeze behind. Yes. Yes, love the back of it. And the only bad thing is we can't have a look in because it's locked. Unbelievable. Gutted. But next to it, the one we have come to have a look at, it's a 794. Is it really? Yes. Yes, it is. 22 plate. Love the back of that one. Got the new graphics on. Eighty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five, two thousand and twenty-two. Let's have a look. First impressions as you walk through the door. Well, no. you're not sure, are you? No. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. I think it's because it's not the tag. Yeah. I don't know, it's nice. It, is, like a, it. it is a nice tag. Seats are lovely. It's this vegan leather. Yeah, I like a bit of vegan leather, do you? Vegan leather, why don't they just say plastic? <laughs> does annoy me. The uh, control panel up there. Sockets and things up there. Fridge, same as ours. What's the matter then? Why, I don't what? Know. I don't, I don't, just, I don't know. I don't like the colour of this, that's just me being pedantic. It looks like it's... New tap. It's different. Oh yeah, that's a nice tap. Microwave. 
Why haven't they kept it white or grey to match the rest of the van? Because they've moved with the times. No, look, this is all white and grey, and then they've used this, which just looks like it's gone off the colour. Don't like that. Unbelievable, it is. Let's have a look in here. Sink and toilet. Nice size bedroom. No, she doesn't. She doesn't like it, so I don't know why I'm off for doing it. <laughs> I'm right behind you, you know. Yeah. Don't have a look in the bedroom. I'm trying to get out of the way here. I've had a look. And they've used this horrible colour again. Well, right, come on, let's get out of here. I've had enough. The gut is. Right, we've got out of there because she doesn't like it at all. I'm got it. I'm not too keen, to be honest. But there you go. I just. I don't know what it is. It seems very small compared to the ones we've looked at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at this Heimer. £83,995. And it's a 71 plate. Yes. A bit plain looking, to be honest, to save this cab though. That's a plus. I'm not too keen on the outside, to be honest. And the door's on the wrong side. It's a bit white. It's very white. That's okay. The one thing I will say. Hang on, I've got to close up. The one thing I will say, it's a good job. They've got steps. Yeah, it's, it's pretty high off the floor. I like the inside initial, initial. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Cracking cab, modern looking cab, which you would expect from Mercedes because they're brilliant. Is it? Is it manual? Or? No, it's not manual, is it? Yeah, it is manual, yeah. Massive cupboard space. Love, oh, I love this. This is brilliant. That's yes. different. Drawers. Oh, I'm standing in the shower. I just thought, where's the shower? And you put your TV there, control panel there. Uh oh, what? I just wondered what all this was about. It's TV. I think, is it? No, this is just a seatbelt. Oh, I don't know, I've got no idea. I, no, your TV goes there. Yeah, I'm just, why? Just why? I don't know, there's got to be a reason. Cabinet. I love the cab. So look in there. Right. Uh, the cooker is a ridiculous place. Why is it? Up there. That's the microwave? Oh, it's a cooker? Yeah. Oh, right. Have a look. I mean, who would... It's got to be a man. Oh, yeah. Who on earth? That is dangerous to try and get hot stuff out of there. No, that it sounds like a bloody... Oh, I don't know what you can bump in your gums about. You don't cook. I do. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that's a shower there. So how does that work then? Oh, you've got it like a... Oh yeah, one of them flimsy doors. And then you have to climb into bed. Up steps and things. I like the bed. I like... I, I do like the van. I do. The best thing about this van is the badge on the front to Mercedes and the cab. Apart from that, nah. That's, no, if that's our opinion, I do like it. Your opinion, rather. It is my opinion. And actually, I think you should put our coat hangers back under the TV so we've got somewhere to hang coats, like this one is here. Another job for me, eh? Yeah. Come on, then, let's crack on. We were going to have a look at the brand spanking new Contiki Tag Axle 874, but I think it's been sold. House. Let's see if the door's open. There's a big red sole sticker inside. Yeah, let's see if the door's open now. No, they're all sold, aren't they? Have a look. Yes, it's locked. Nice one. And that one's sold. That one's sold. And this little Ford sold as well. And now we're going to have a look at a Bessa car, 2018, three and a half ton, 
It's the Besser Car 542 and it is £60,995. On an 18 plate. Show you the outside. Yeah, the best the best car is like uh, the older version of ours, isn't it? Yes, yeah. So let's go and have a look then, eh? Yeah. Oh, first, thing, first thing I've noticed, it's not like ours because the door is all the way down there. It's not in the middle. Well, maybe they've moved the door. And the gas lock is the same. That's one good thing to see. I mean, we haven't put them on ours, but you No, can... they are on ours. All of them. It's only one. one. Yeah. Is that no. two? It's two. It's had two services. Yeah, there's two stickers on. Yeah, well, on this one, it's got the 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, so you know it's been serviced. Yeah, that's good to see. And I'll also mention it's got a cracking. Oh, it has. Bike rack, motorbike, scooter rack. Yeah. That's a good bit of kit, that is a good bit of kit. And it's got a nice big old uh, roll out on this. Yeah. Nice van. Is it? Nice van. Let's have a look at it. Yes, that's I a nice van. I know you've got to make your bed up, but the space you've yeah. got in here. Yeah, to lose your bedroom, the space you save is amazing, isn't it? I mean, look at it. it. Just seems to go on forever. It does. I really, really do like this layout. Massive windows. Exactly the same cab as ours. Exactly the same. It is? just, it just yeah, it feels is. so spacious. Yeah. So what's so, in the back there then? The washroom. Yeah. So you put your TV on here, which is going to take up a lot of that space, unless you put a small, oh, a small one like we've got. But you've still got all this. So you're cooking. You've got plenty. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Fantastic. Massive space. Yeah, and a lovely, good size bathroom. So we'll go. Toilet. What's in here? Oh, cupboards and storage. That's your Aldi wet sensor heat in there. Massive sink. Good size shower. Yeah. Loads of space. Because cause you haven't got a bedroom. So that locker in there that you said that's your wardrobe? Yeah. Loads of cupboard space. Both sides. The fridge. Yeah, just. It's a great van. I do really like it. Lovely van. Out, yeah. <sighs> Comfortable. Party van. Shut up, Lynn. Well, you can get one, two. You get four people on there, four point people on here. You get ten people, or your size on there. Only two, yeah, then. Unbelievable, it's unbelievable, folks. There's the same lockers as ours, I think. Yeah, same one. Yeah, but just different from someone. Do like it. Yeah. Do really, really like this as a as a. Yes. The layout. Lovely van. Lovely, lovely van. And it's only sixty-one thousand. Only. Only. That's a bloody well, if you are interested, I will put the, I think I said this before, but I will put Salop's link in the description below if I can find it. But we're yeah. at Salop Leisure in Shrewsbury. Yeah. And there's, and to be honest, there are, you could have a day out here at Salop. Yeah. Because you can eat here. If you've got little kids, there's a, a proper play area for the kids. You could also stop at Love to Stay, which is right next door, which and is an amazing site. And there's a lovely garden centre as well, attached to mm. it. Yeah, so, you know, you could have a good couple of days here. If you like looking around at vans and things, which we, we do. do. We do. Oh, Not many new models though for 2023. But no. we thought we'd do this being as we're not going to the NEC this year. Well, not this time anyway. No. So we thought we'd have a Other things phone. planned, people. Other things planned. As always. Let's crack on then. Yeah, let's go. I do want to have a look in this Joe account. Oh, is, okay. This is, uh, we did this on uh, one of last year's. 
It's one of their a new range. Um, never heard of Joe Camp before, but they seem to be becoming more and more popular. So this one, it's brand new, but it's a 2022 model. It's the Joa Camp 70Q. Yeah, there you go. 58,995 pounds, 2022 Joa Camp 70Q. I just said that. And it must be firing because the door's on the opposite side. It's definitely a fit. Oh, what is it, Citroen? I'll just show you around the outside first. There you go. I can't get far enough away from the vans because they're parked so close. Be happy, enjoy a life. Just on entering it, it feels very... I know it is a European van, it feels very European. It's... I'd say it's a, ba it's a base... Van. Base range van. Um, you've got no blinds on the windows, but you have got the curtain, which goes all the way around to... Yeah, let's have a look. So you've got your table there, sitting area there, travel seats, uh, skylight there, Citroen, well, I say Citroen, they're all the same, and the pretty Fiat, Fiat Peugeot, Citroen, they're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. And like I said, you've got no window blinds, but you've got the curtain that goes all yeah. the way around the cab. You've got that curtain there, goes around there. Not too keen on those, but that's person, personal preference again. Massive table. You've got a burner here. Little sink there. What's that there? Oh, that's a grill. cooker. One thing cooker. I can't find on here. What's that? Any plug sockets? It's got to be some sort of measure, surely. No plug sockets. We're on the hunt for plug sockets. I know it's something daft, but. Could it be? Surely. There's not one here. What's that down there? What's that? Oh, you've got. No. Yes, this is a plug socket. That's a European one. Yes, yeah, so a plug socket. The, I don't know if that's one, but you haven't got, you've got two USB ports. Oops. Doesn't do okay. anything. You've got two USB ports here, but you've got nowhere to plug a kettle in. Well, you have, you've got the European one, the two pin. You've got none in the bedroom. You've got no USB ports in the bedroom at all. That's unusual. Just that is some, very unusual. Just something that I noticed, which massive bed. Oh, hang on, is the one? Oh, you've got you, you've got USBs in the lights. USBs in the lights. But you've got nowhere to plug a hairdryer in or anything. Good size wardrobes, both yeah. sides. Shower's a good size, even though it's a wet room. I don't do nets personally, but that's just me. Uh, window there, a window there. Uh, sink there, toilet, wet room. Yeah, it is very. Very basic, as I say. How much is it? 59 grand. 59,000. For basic money, but a basic yeah, but van. If you think, how much was that other one? That other one was 50 and it was a 2012. This is brand the whole, 2022. Yeah, yeah. So if you're extra 10,000. You could have a brand new van. You could have a brand new van. 10,000 pounds, it's a lot of money. I know it's a lot of money, but when you're talking. Especially when you've got no sockets. Yeah, that is strange. Very strange. Yeah, so there you go, people. Not for us, but you know. It just. No, very basic, very, very basic. Yes. Yes, agree? Yeah. You agree with me? Totally. Unbelievable. Mm, not totally. I just can't understand why you've got. I mean, where would you even actually put a kettle unless you you no, have to have, you'd have, to have a two pin no, plug. but you've got nowhere to put one what are you put in there wouldn't you you're not going to be cooking all the time are you i mean if, if people are anything you know people who buy these vans anything like us we have takeaways all the time what do you think about that i've got a blind there it does feel very spacious I like that. Is that a cupboard? Yes. No, it's not, it doesn't work. Oh, it does. There you go. I just can't get my head around. There's no sort of. Well, there's. 
Who is he? One, one European socket. That's it. Bloody hell, people, it's hard work today. Us ladies, we need sockets. Come Tell on. me where you're going to plug your toaster in if you're having a cup of tea and a piece of toast. Use the grill. There you go. So, what's the point of going on, on hook up then when you've got no sockets to run anything from? If I don't get out this van, it's going to no, end up in domestic. It, no, everybody will agree with me here. You, got, you, you have a motor and you go and hook up. What's the point? You've got no hot plate, you've got no sockets to run anything off. I bet there's no even solar panel on this. Probably not. Bloody hell. Strange. It's a bit strange. like you. Yeah. Now, right next door to it, there's a 2023 Joa Camp 70Q, £68,870. So it looks this, the same from the outside. Yeah, if this is a 70Q and that's a 70Q. It's the same van, but this is a 2023 model. And that's brand new, but it's a 2022 model and it's £10,000 cheaper. So if it's a 70Q and that's a 70Q, to me it's the same van. We'll have a look. And the door's still on the wrong side. <laughs> we don't think it's the same van. How can they do that? I'm going to see if there's a socket in this one. Yeah. Oh dear, need some steps again. Ah. She needs some steps to get on the step to get in the, in the van. See, there's one English socket here. There you go. We one. found a socket, people. Yeah, but it's an English one. Yes. Now, can I just say, as we, as we first came in, yeah. this is a lot better. It looks the same layout, but it's not. There's more space around the table. The material is better on the chairs. It's because it's vegan leather. Not too sure about that, though. Uh, cab's the same. Still got the same curtain. It's exactly the same apart from the vegan leather. The vegan leather. And you've, and got, you've one got a socket. socket. One socket. We found a socket! But there's still only one socket. Let's have a look in the bedrooms. Different bedrooms, no, it's different layout. It's exactly the same, Robert. It's just, got a, it's just shut. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So it can have exactly the same van. Hang on, did they have the fridge there? Yeah, exactly the same. Good size fridge. So if you come here and you want the Joe Car 70Q, you can have a 22, 2022 model for £10,000 cheaper and it's exactly the same apart from the vegan leather. Yeah, which. It, and the plug socket. Well, I'm sure they would put an English plug socket on that one because they can't yeah. sell it with a European one on. Sure. Yeah, so to so save 10 grand, <laughs> by the forget the false leather. And get the 2022? Yeah. That's all we can say about that, people. We just saved you 10 grand. How about that? Happy with that. Happy. Let's have a look at this panel van now, eh? Yeah, it's a, it's a Joa Cam 63T, 64,995, and it's a two berth with four seat belts. Yeah. There you go. What do you pull the step out? No, yeah, just press the button, there should be a button on the side somewhere. Okay, maybe not. Give us 10 minutes, people, to get the step out. I'll let you know. Oh, it. what are you just doing? Look, I've up there. Yeah? Hang on, let's see what's this then. Come on, <laughs> come on, you can do this. Get your little leg up there, get it. That's oh. it. Yes, this is annoying. Is it? Something wrong with this van, there's a big hole there. Oh no, that piece of wood goes there, obviously, to make a full size bed. Uh, cupboards up there, up there. Strange thing is, oh, there are clips underneath these. So there's it. So you've got plenty of storage, a light there, a light there. Uh, storage here, is that? Yeah, storage there, and then that one. Loads of garage space under the bed. Skylight. You've even got shelves on the back door, which is a good idea. I'm trying to turn the camera around because it's a bit tight in here. Uh, wet room there. Uh, sink. Cupboard there. Yeah. Skylight up there. Little mirror there. I'm trying to turn around as much. <sighs> Christ, I'm getting fat, I am, man. And you've got a fridge there. That fridge is good. Cupboards under there. 
massive drawers, and I mean massive drawers. Yeah. Look at the size of that drawer. That is a good size. And you've got three of those. And then you've got a little sink here. It is a little sink. It's a little sink. Suit you, that would, wouldn't it? You like little things, eh? <laughs> Two burners. What's this there? I don't know what that is. No sockets. No sockets at all? No sockets at all. It's got to be sockets somewhere, surely? No, I've even checked under the table. You could draw a panel up there. No sockets. Uh, your fake le uh, vegan... Fake leather. Fake, fake leather. vegan leather. Yeah, so you've got your plastic seats, in other words. Storage up there. You'd never find anything if you put something in there. And uh, another skylight there. Massive cupboard here. What's your head? Two USB sockets in there. Two USBs are there, we found some. <laughs> 12 volt TV point there. And what's that's got to be a socket under there. Should, no, what is he? Switch. Oh, switch. Light switch. Yeah. Nice, you've got your media there. Yeah, you're sat and having all that there. Mm. Nice ish. Just. Yeah. It's just the base range again, isn't it? You know, the. Uh, you know, it's one of them, isn't it? Yeah. How much is it? 65 grand. Yeah, 65. Yeah, 65 grand. No sockets. No sockets. Nice van, then. Well, it's all right. I mean, to be honest, you. Oh, shit, and I've just smacked my head off here. You see there? Bit, bit tacky if you ask me. Yeah, it's gonna wear, isn't it? Because yeah. these are only like covers, aren't they? These come off. Yeah, you've just got the original cab. Yeah, the original cab. So they're just like seat covers. Put it back on nice. Yeah. Bloody head hurts now. Just banged it off there. <laughs> Mind you, I'm doing that now, have to be honest. Yes. She doesn't have that problem. I would. Nothing in it, so. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Well, it's alright. There's the button for the bloody step here. Yeah, it doesn't work. <clears throat> okay, fire extinguisher you get as well. Yeah. Which we need to get to for us, to be honest, the fire extinguisher because we haven't got one. Come on then. Come on, in. What should we give it then? It's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Come on, let's get you down these steps. It's, it's in a step, it's a... Come on, there you go. It's a long way down there, this rear, isn't it? And I don't know how to shut the door. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, always on it as well. Yeah, it's a nice van, that is. So, people, we still haven't found the van. No, still haven't found the perfect van. That's just tempting me to open my wallet. Oh, that's going to take a lot. But we will do, because, I, I mean, our van is three years old now, this year. It is. In July, three years old in July. Yep. So we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. So you never know what's going to happen in the future. At the moment, we are perfectly happy with ours because we love the van. But as I say, just time is ticking on. Yeah. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe we shouldn't keep it. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, let us know in the comments. Just before we go any further, people, we have got a couple of uh, shout-outs. Yeah, well, yeah, we've got a, a thank you, a super thanks, thank you to Helen A380. Helen A3 A380. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Super thanks. And David Bellamy wants to... David be... Bellamy? Is that actually David Bellamy, the bloke with the beard and does all the insects and bugs and that? No. I don't know. <laughs> David Bellamy wants a shout-out for his wife. Liz. Hang on, it can't be David Bellamy, he's dying. <sighs> he wants a shout-out for his wife, Leslie, as they've been married for 54 years. 54 years. On the 8th of Feb. Leslie, do you know how lucky you are? And... 54 years you've had a living... You've took off David's life. They live in New Zealand. <laughs> I live in New Zealand. Yeah. And David wants Rob to mark where to, where to tell him how he, how do you think he should mark their their special wedding anniversary? What would your ideas be? Well, to be honest, David, if it was me and you've been married that long, I'd look for a new model. <laughs> no need. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Well, you know, 54 years, that's that's a lifetime to be together, isn't it, really, to be honest, so... I don't know, maybe buy some new oven gloves or something, you know, or a new toaster. 
more slow or, cooker, or something maybe, like that. Or advise her to trade you in for a younger model, David. Unbelievable, David. Us blokes have got to stick together, mate. No, on a serious note, congratulations yeah. both. And uh, Leslie, hope you have a cracking day. Yeah. So uh, we'll wrap this one up now, people. We'll say our farewells. So stay safe for the caravan as motor homes tend to drift with skies old and new. So I love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. Mm.